I'm Brian McCall, and this is Algebra 1. Let's start by distributing. So 2 fourths will reduce to 1 half. Mr. McCall, why are you talking about this right now? So our answer here is x equals negative 18 fifths. I love algebra because as an engineer, I used algebra more often than I did geometry or than trig. Algebra is pretty abstract. The more you can tie it to real life, the more I think you can understand it and relate to it. We need a common equation, something from algebra. Well, how about slope-intercept form? Big picture is if you want to graduate from high school, you have to learn it. So grab your pencils and let's get started. One of the toughest things about algebra is knowing where to start. So through my course, I'm going to cover some questions that are probably going to give you fits on your homework. I definitely was very careful when I selected the problems. I said, what are the ones that students are going to struggle with? What are they going to make mistakes on? I would say the key elements first is solving. If I want to isolate a variable, how do I do it? To undo multiplication, we're going to divide by 2. The second one would be uh, linear equations y equals mx plus b. Rational expressions, kind of factoring, you know, FOIL, factoring trinomials, definitely quadratics. The last bit of interesting news about the quadratic formula is that it gives us the discriminant. In the back of my mind, I'm saying, you've already seen this, but how can I make it more interesting for you? How can I show you why you're learning it? How could you apply it to something that you use every day? So parabolas are all over life. When you're walking down the street, you probably see a couple parabolas here or there. Algebra really, it's a, it's a pyramid and more than kind of geometry. Geometry is kind of here and there, and you can connect some stuff, but algebra just builds on itself. Um, what we did the day before has something to do with what we're doing today and what we're going to do tomorrow. 